Hi everyone, I'm Meg and this is Meg Plays Games. Today I'm looking at a game called Orwell, which like its name references is very much about a society where Big Brother governs and you're constantly watched. In this game you take the role of one of these government employees who uses um, some software called Orwell to investigate people in order to determine if they are the perpetrators of crimes. I've only played the demo so far but I really really enjoyed the game and think it's a really great concept. Um, it was released in October and basically it is um, it promotes itself as story rich and choices matter and that kind of thing. I really do like the, the the kind of dystopian cynical look at how society will be and how we'll be monitored as well as that feeling you get when you're snooping into people's innermost lives and watching them and the surveillance around it. So let's get started. You can choose a profile so I'm just gonna go with Jane Normal. It's an empty profile. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. Hmm. Let's see what happens if I, I log in. Oh wait, I'm gonna create an empty profile. Select a profile picture. You have been selected for the oil test phase. Ooh, I can choose who I want to be. Um, I don't know who I want to look like. Hmm. I am definitely spending way too much time deciding this. I'm gonna go with this standard lady that was on the previous profile. <clears throat> My email address. Uh, optional, so no. And then I agree to the terms stated above. <laughs> I am aware that my actions may severely impact the lives of citizens of the nations. I will thoroughly and I will work thoroughly and judge objectively in the best of my belief. While working, I will adhere to the laws and jurisdiction of the nation. So I'm really interested to see if um, the game basically lets you maybe deviate from your role as a law-abiding citizen. But um, yeah, I'm also interested to see how my choices might impact people. Like any government system, it's taking forever. This reminds me a little bit of Watch Dogs 2 and Watch Dogs as well and how you can see everyone's profiles and identities. This looks like the same scenario that was presented in the demo. Oh, we found a, a criminal. There's a couple smooching, some people standing in front of the monument. Sorry, I should be more surprised, but I saw this in the, de <laughs> the demo. This is where I should be like, oh damn. So this is where your job comes into play. Episode 1, the clocks were striking 13. This is set in 2017. Um, this is the guy from Orwell who basically talks to you. Uh, his name is Symes. It says, you're online, good. 
call me Symes, I will be your advisor on Orwell. Together we will form both the first and the last line of defense against terrorism. Sounds good, Symes. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances, selected from thousands of applicants across the globe. Apparently, um, I'm special. Um, yeah, so basically he's trying to get us to investigate things. There's the reader tool that'll help us read news stories um, and documents. So yeah, he wants us to look at the National Beholder at first. Feel free, free to browse the National Beholder. I've activated the profile. Open the unknown person file once you're done. So three people have died, five were severely in injured, terrorist ambition suspected. Um, there was an anonymous letter containing the first three stanzas of the German folk song Die Gedanken sind frei. Thoughts are free has reached local authorities. Um, the bomb was also triggered from a short distance away using a cell phone signal. Um, and then negotiations in Triflith failed. So that just shows that there was some unre unrest in this region. And then something about a movie shooting. Yay. <laughs> I can't remember if I saw... Yes, yeah, there's some lovers quarrel here. Um, but I can't remember if I saw something relevant. Um, while back when I first did the demo. Okay, now on to the unknown person. The profile filer holds all unknown information on those we investigate. The file you have opened is for our main suspect. The blue haired woman caught on the CCT footage shows, bef shows before the assault is no stranger uh, <laughs> to the police. Take a look at their arrest record. Um, is it in the bookmarks? There we go. Cassandra or Autogate. The highlighted elements in the record are pieces of data that are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Hovering over data chunks will reveal their relevance to the case and any connections or information it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into a profile to upload them to our servers. Um, so yes, I can profile update. Have I updated this? Sorry, I've done this before, but <laughs> I seem to have forgotten. Um, so we're looking at her police record. She was charged with assault on a police officer. But uh, when she asked um, to lay on the ground with her hands around her back, she cooperated. Pro it was at a protest. The protesters at the origin of the assault were forcibly moved, where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. He'd been, the officer in question had been struck by an unknown object. Oh, we can give her a little profile picture too. I personally love her hair colour. Um, so information in documents can only become a data chunk when it can be clearly assigned to a target person. Add the reason for Miss Watergate's private arrest that has just been unlocked. We'll need this info to progress. One related document found. He asks, do you believe in coincidence? Actually, I do, <laughs> because there is that whole thing about correlation and causation. But Simon says he does not believe in coincidence. Find data revealing where she attacked the police officer and you will see what I mean. The incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza, which is where the bombing happened, as part of a demonstration. Um, okay, so it highlights, it, it's nice in that it, it highlights some of the relevant information for you. 
the exact same location as the assault. Then she turns up right there before the explosion. Surely not a coincidence? Well, it depends on how public the plaza is. Um, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. So it's really fun finding out about people and snooping about. So she is an artist by profession. Oh yes, one who does street art by blowing memorials to pieces by any chance. Symes is <laughs> a bit dramatic. Um, found another document. So he wants to clarify um, my job and how it affects his. Um, I have extracted all the info. Um, starting now, he's going into this case blind. Investigators are the only ones allowed to access the documents of target persons. Really, they are trusting randoms here. <laughs> Don't know how I was chosen specifically. Advisors like me only get to see the, the data provided by the investigators. We will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away any incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass into Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the case. So some of this stuff is up to my discretion. <laughs> so they, you can keep updating her, her picture. I don't know why it matters. Maybe it's just like get her a the latest image on her. So she quit her doll day job to focus on her art career. You must know what that job was. See, I don't see how this is relevant, but I will pop it in there and see what he says. No, no, I don't. No, you highlighted it. People's lives are hanging in the balance here. What if you pass me something I cannot identify as wrong so easily? You've got to be more careful next time around. I'm sorry, Symes. You highlighted it. How do I disable this? You're not letting me do it. Ugh, last time I ignored it, I think that's what happened. Oh dear. Can I like undo? <laughs> okay, that is her Utah account. That that is relevant. Continue. The listener has now been unlocked. New conversations will appear whenever they are started. So she is a businessman's daughter. So the only problem with this is sometimes you don't know where the information is going to be uploaded to. Come on. I'm trying to get rid of this Wonderland address. <laughs> These assholes. <laughs> they won't let me remove it. Um, okay. Uh, so she's got a boyfriend in a relationship. Okay, now we're going to the listener, which is great. Sometimes um, I find it's it doesn't give you data like to input that um, you can already um, you can already discern from the information. So I'll show it. Um, I'll show eventually what I mean. Unknown person says, I can't seem to find my credit card. I assume you took it, right? And she's like, ah, uh, you got me, Sherlock. In the middle of buying all of Bonton with that platinum credit card I lifted from your desk. Can't stop me now. Well, luckily for you, I don't mind going on a splurge as long as you pick up some wine for dinner. So last time I uploaded this in the demo, but I don't think it's relevant because she's not actually like legit stealing from him. It sounds like they're in a relationship. So she's identified him, Joseph Langley, her fearless attorney and all-round badass. Okay. 
Um, so she's talking about getting one, he's talking about having um, a business meeting, she's like, guess I better pick up shitloads of wine, you'll have to get this client of yours, pretty buzzed to handle all that business. One bustle should be fun, she's a lightweight, okay, so they're obviously talking about her, oh whatever, I guess I shouldn't pick up some of those party uh, pulls from Big Pharma, aka my parents then. Oh come on, I'm only teasing, speaking of your parents, when are you going to tell them about us? And she's like, ugh, yeah, maybe, gotta go, text you later, xoxo. So her parents are in a pharmacy. This is where Symes is like, ooh, I've heard of them. Um, <clears throat> that's her attorney. So like, yeah, it's obvious that the guy she's in a relationship with is Joseph. But um, I don't see a way... Like, <laughs> it's saying that she's the client, but they're in a relationship, and I can see that as a human, but they're not allowing me to input the data. Anyway, back to her. I'm going to see if I can go on. I'm going to disable this. Like, because this is literally just her being like a trophy girlfriend. There we go. Um, now back on to the reader. Products. So this is... Um, Watergate Pharmaceuticals, so it's who we assume her parents are. They are currently looking for a chief operating officer, blah blah blah. And then company, the business Watergate Pharmaceuticals has been in hands of the pharma the water <laughs> the pharmaceutical family, the Watergate family, owning and managing the firm ever since its foundation in 1931. So here's Bruno Watergate and Dr. Alice Watergate and ooh Cassandra Watergate. She was the junior COO. That was her former job. Probably by one of her parents. How do you know, Syme? She could have very well been an amazing CEO. <laughs> um, yeah, so she can't be an artist and a junior CEO, according to Syme's. But I say follow your dreams. But she did mention she had quit a dull job. So we can assume that was her old job. She is Alice and Bruno's daughter. I should I should read more of his stuff. Um, I mean, in his accent. <laughs> the National Beholder just published a new article. You may want to take a look and see if there's any new information available. Well, do what I want, Sans. You can't tell me what to <laughs> I'm obviously not a, a good government employee. <laughs> so, yes. The predecessor retired. There you go. Well, maybe I was wrong. Nothing stays in the family. Ouch. This is probably what she meant about quitting her job. Good. Back to reading things. Uh, procedure, closing, raises, manipulation, suspicions. So this is about Cassandra's um, case. And Slimes is saying, all well informs me you just encountered conflicted data chunks. Whenever the content of two data chunks are at odds with one another, those will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the others will become invalid immediately. I'd highly recommend that you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed, though this is your decision. Once the information has been passed, there's no way to reverse your choice. We yeah, are, I've noticed by this fucking Wonderland bullcrap right now. Um, okay, case closed due to lack of evidence. This is about Cassandra's um, thingy, um, her 
case against her, but it also says the wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome of her favor. So I don't really want to upload it yet because I mean this could just be like gossip. Last time I was just like YOLO and uploaded everything <laughs> but I'll wait for more information. Crime rate continues to drop. Criminal offences decreased by 4.8%. Crime rates have been continuously declining over the past several years. We reached the safety bill. The party. That sounds so... <laughs> sounds ominous because it's so impersonal. Safety bill is passed. Yay, safety bill. Peacekeeping missions. Um, people? Ooh, I didn't see this last time. He has our Prime Minister, Secretary of Economy and Trade, Secretary of Security, Secretary of Defense. I'm, I'm noting, noticing a, um, something in common with all these people, but. I won't point it out. Physicians are five pillars of a great nation. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> Migration and foreign affairs. Gating immigration from and intervening in foreign countries is a necessity to uphold law and order in our own. This, this sounds like someone I know. Our cultural origins as well as the significance of family and communal life must be cherished. Okay, they, these guys sound like super old school. I might not fit in well here. Join the army of the nation. Oop. <laughs> Defend the freedom of the nation in foreign countries and help stabilize them and get enlisted now. Okay, um, that's just a bit of background. Um, now what? That's not it. Anything on the list? No. So this is probably what he means when he says, um, I have to input some data according to, um, Um, in order to, to move forward, sorry, I'm reading through stuff. So I'm going to go back to this. Um, I think this also shows where there's still some data you can upload. Um, let me just see if there's anything else here. Alright, I think they just mean her picture, which is stupid because um, she doesn't look like that anymore. And then, um, procedure closing. Now I have to choose one of these. So, just based on what I learned from the demo, I'm going to say the case um, was closed due to lack of evidence. I know, I see the conflict. I've just disabled the other thing. Okay, there we go. Upload complete. This is what I figured. A pity that the CCTV beefy did not actually help. Maybe it will today. Currently I'm thinking that Miss Watergate underwent quite a radical change, don't you agree? There she dyed her hair blue. Out of control I tell you. Let's find out what happened in between these two lives of hers. What may have caused this radical shift? What did cause this radical shift? Um her timeline. Now we're snooping on her Facebook. So we've got her date of birth. Um, oh yeah, I love that image. Let's, let's go with that image. Yeah, baby. Um, things Cassandra likes, Alice in Wonderland. Um, interests, art, music, and activism. Status, you're invited to tea inside the rabbit hole. 
Art music activism? What a lineup. What are you saying, Symes? I think I think Symes is an undercover, like super judgy person. Sandra says, Woohoo! First day in freedom, far away from the shackles of Watergate Farmer. Jake says, What? Who's gonna pay for your stuff now? Mommy and Daddy won't like this. And she says, Listen, Jake, I am not Daddy's little girl anymore. My art's already got me a lot of money, more than enough to pay my bills. Don't you worry about me. All that sass. Um, Cassandra again on January 29th. Despised puppets of the state, you have finally managed to destroy us entirely. There is nothing left to do but congratulate you. These are my personal wishes to you from the deepest abyss of my heart. Fuck all of you government lackeys. Poetic. Poetic. Um, and then Mary says, Sweetie, sweetie, what's the matter? That totally doesn't sound like you. We haven't hung out for ages. You gotta get out from time to time. You'd feel much better. And she says, Mary, just shut your freaking mouth, okay? I'm not in the mood for your stupid act. I told you again and again, I cannot deal with this right now. <laughs> um, and then Mary says, okay, you know what? I'm really sorry that I still care about my best friend, no matter how often she decides to give me the cold shoulder. But in that case, that's in the past now. So Cassandra has changed her status to being in a relationship with Joseph Langley, which I already knew with her lawyer, hmm, might be noteworthy. He is super judgy. Um, she's, she's being mad that the beholder, um, the leading newspaper of the nation. She's she's angry that the beholder is talking about manipulation um, suspicions. And Mary says, at least you're a team now. Wanna blow off some steam together with a little late night shopping tour? And then she says, not today, I have a date this evening. Heart emoji. And she says, ooh, who's the lucky one? And Cassandra leaves it up to mystery. Um, case closed. Oh, uh, um, Harrison says, kiddo, you're my heroine, a thousand cams on the plaza, but no proof. We've shown you the world, this dirty surveillance machinery only exists to intimidate and to mislead the people into believing false promises. Camps for safety, one big lie. Um, and like, she's super happy, and they're gonna write a blog. Uh, <laughs> um... Changed the profile picture, um, she had an amazing concert, and she um, got a little makeover. And then Mary says, oh my god, what happened to your beautiful hair? Why didn't you ask me for going to the stylist? Could have gone together. And I'm like, screw you, Mary. Bly, you're so judgy. Um, this guy is such a douche. <laughs> Did mommy and daddy agree with that? Um, it's a whole new you. You also need a new name with that. What about Cassarthus? That's clever. Me like you. So henceforth, Cassandra shall be known to the world as Cassarthus. And why we should care about this apparently is that it could be one of her aliases. Like if I was gonna be like a terrorist, I would, I'd choose something that's not on my Facebook feed. Not that I am a terrorist, any government organizations watching. Alias name. You know people on the web. So many names, so many identities. It's always good to record every alias, then we can mash data chunks to target persons whenever they are using them. And then Harrison is talking about um, their little activist group. And they're the ones who are going to have a protest on the Freedom Plaza. Oh, how, how things are making sense now. An activist group? Is there anything more specific? I'll, I'll, I'll look. Ooh, a listener. No, but I'm still going through your profile. I'll listen just now. Um, just discovered this hot new band. Oh my god. The people. Sorry. <laughs> These kind of people on Facebook insufferable. Um. Not really my style, sorry Cass. Can't we just go see Cherry Cheeks sometime? They are not just some punks, elite singers are real cutie, and they've had this cool guitarist girl. Plus they've got a message. What's not to like? <laughs> 
um, my Mary, the best, my best friend of all time. So this is like the conflicting um, data chunk, but they're obviously not really friends anymore. Well, they're having a fallout, like knowing from just general fallouts, <laughs> they'll probably be friends, like, and they have some some coffee or something. Um, so now, do I have to say something about them not being friends anymore? Like, shut your freaking mouth, okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna go and listen to see what she says. Session, Joseph Langley. Did you hear about the Freedom, Pl Freedom Plaza bombing? Yeah, don't remind me, you know, I have a history with that place. She's, she's really bummed that she has to catch a bus from there every day. Too many bad memories. Oh, he's being sweet, and he's like, you don't need to justify yourself to anybody. Um, yeah, so she's expressing regret for having gone to the protest. I was so happy when Goldfells accepted me into thought. I desperately wanted to go to prove my worth to the cause. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Joseph says, think of it this way. If you would not have gone to the protest, then you would have never... Wrong, been wrongfully indicted and would have never met me and she says yeah and I would have not been called a terrorist in all the papers um you are not a terrorist okay and she says ain't I you sure Cassandra this isn't the time to be making jokes we're watching you she's buying some fancy wine Oh dear, he's got an important appointment tonight, it's surprisingly out of schedule and he can't postpone it. And she says, you gotta be kidding me! He calls her darling, and then she goes on like a little rage thing, like you always have an appointment, appointment here, appointment there, appointment every fucking where. How can you constantly do this to me? She's so angry she can't type. Darling, please just calm down, have you taken your methrin? Yes, damn it! Is there anything that matters to you that I am on fucking happy pills all day? Darling, please, it's not like. It's nothing like that, and you know it. Ugh, this is. this is Orkies. Says, if he doesn't show up to the appointment, he risks losing a very important client. And she says, I totally understand. Don't you risk losing that very impo important client of yours now? I get it. I guess I'm just not an important client anymore. Going home now in case I'm getting up on that priority list of yours anytime soon. Session closed. She shot him down, drops the mic, exits chat. Anyway, on um, that, <laughs> I'm going to end off this episode and let me go. Let me know if you guys liked it. Bye.